In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. At welcome po muli dito sa Basilica. To prepare ourselves to offer the solemn sacrifice to the Mass, we pause for a while, acknowledge our sins and failures, and be sorry for them. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to all the sinners, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the, the highest. highest. And on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. We, we praise you, we bless you, you we adore you, you we glorify you, you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, God heavenly King, King, O God, Almighty, Almighty Father, Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten Son, Son God, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son, Son of the Father, Father you take, take away, away the sins of the world, world. have mercy on us. You take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world, world. Receive, receive our prayer. prayer. You are you seated, seated at the right, right hand of the Father. Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone, alone are the Holy One. one. You alone, alone are the Lord. Lord. You alone, alone are the, the Most High, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. With the, the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, in the glory, in the glory of, God, of God the Father. Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who by the abundance of your grace Give increase to the people who so believe in you. Look with favor on those you have chosen and clothe with blessed immortality those reborn to the sacrament of baptism. Through Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Observing the boldness of Peter and John, and perceiving them to be an educated, ordinary man, the leaders, elders, and the scribes were amazed, and they recognized them as the companions of Jesus. Then when they saw the man who had been cured standing there with them, they could say nothing in reply. So they ordered them to leave the Sanhedrin and conferred with one another, saying, What are we to do with this man? Everyone living in Jerusalem knows that a remarkable sign was done through them, and we cannot deny it. But so that it may not be spread any further among the people, let us give them a stern warning, never again to speak to anyone in this name. So they called them back and ordered them not to speak or teach at all in the name of Jesus. Peter and John, however, said to them in reply, whether it is right in the sight of God for us to obey you rather than God you be the judges it is impossible for us not to speak about what we have seen and heard after threatening them further they released them finding no way to punish them on account of the people who were all praising God for what had happened the word of the Lord thanks be to God I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my savior. The joyful shout of victory in the tents of the just. 
I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord has struck with his power. I shall not die, but live, and declare the works of the Lord, though the Lord has indeed chastised me, yet he has delivered me to death. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me. Open to me the gates of justice. I will enter them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The just shall enter it. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me and have been my Savior. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me. Please stand. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus had risen early on the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he had driven out seven demons. She went and told his companions, who were mourning and weeping. When they heard that he was alive, and have seen, her, have seen by her, they do not believe. After this, he appeared to another form, to two men of them walking along in their way to the country. They returned and told the others, but they did not believe in them. But later, as the eleven were at table, he appeared to them and rebuked them for their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they have not believed those who saw him after he had raised. He said to them, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umago po muli sa ating lahat, pati na po yung sa, na, sa mga tahanan na susumusubaybay sa ating misa. Ito po yung nabasa ating ebanghelyo, ito yung mga nangyari nitong manakarang araw. Na matapos na mamuha, mabuhay muli ang Panginoon, marami pa rin takot. No? Marami ang hindi pa rin maniwala doon sa nalapitan niya magpakita kahit nga yung gospel kahapon ano ginawa ng Panginoon para makilala siya ng ina Pedro muli niyang naulit yung pangyayari kung paano sila tinawag na na sapagat after the crucifixion nagkahiwahiwalay na sila kanya-kanya na silang balik sa kanilang gawain, dating gawain, kung fisherman ka, fisherman ka pa rin, no? Ayawin ko lang yung mga tax collectors kung bumalik pa rin sila. Ngunit bigla siyang nawala. Bakit? Wala, namatay na eh. Nilibing na. At higit pa rin, yung chismis na si Jesus hindi na, naman, hindi na talaga naman ng buhay, kundi ninakaw. Meron pa nga yung nag-bribe so, sa mga soldiers na ikwento na ganito ninakaw yung katawan. Hindi na buhay ng muli. Kaya yun ang situation. Ngunit, kita niyo sa gasko, medyo na nasakta ng Panginoon kahit nasa nagpakita siya sa mga tao. And yet, they don't easily believe in Him. Lalo na po bukas. Magsimba kayo bukas. <laughs> yan ang gospel ni Daunting Thomas. No? Kailangan pang pindutin ni Thomas yung dagiliran at yung mga sugat para patunayan na, na siya yung nabuhay na muli. Ngayon ngunit, sabi ko nga ako nagsiba tayo itong makanakang araw, dahil sa unbelief na yun, 
may pamamaraan na nagawa ang Panginoon. Napakalilisa nang pupunta siya sa ibabaw ng templo o sa, sa sinagong. Magsisigaw siya doon, Ako, si Jesus, na iyong uh, pinako sa krus, nandito na ako. Hindi niya yung ginawa. Pwede niya pumunta sa marketplace kung saan-saan para ipagpagsigawan. Buhay na po ako. Hindi niya ginawa. Ano ginawa niya? Nilapitan niya yung kanyang mga kaibigan, mga kapatid. Ngunit hindi niya sinabi sa kanila, ako si Jesus, di ba? Walang sabi sa mga testimony, kahit si Maria, si Mary Magdalene, hindi niya sabi, ikaw ba si Jesus? Kala niya na, gardener lang yun. Kung tinago mo si Jesus, ibalik niyo na. Ang paranis, bakit? Sa kanila nang galing yung alam, yung paniniwala na ito nga si Jesus. Di ba parang si Jesus? Yan ang ganang lagi ang sabot nila, no? Kaya nga nung doon sa mga disiplo, yun ang pinakamagandang, for me, yung pinakamagandang papapakita na Jesus sa kanila. Magdamag, nag, nag, humanghuli na isda, walang nangyari. Ngunit nung si Rebensel, nung stranger, ihulog yan ng bat, nahuli siya, nakakahuli sila ng maraming isda. At hindi lamang hanggang doon ang istorya, kali na kayo, kumain tayo. At doon nilaki na mula noon, pag sabi ni Kristo, I will make you peace of men, sumama sila. Yun ang, kaya yun ang binilika natin kahapon. Sa kamuling pagkabuhay ni Jesus, parehong pareho yung nangyari. Kaya siguradong feeling na ito na nga yata sa Jesus. Nabalikan yung nakaraan. Ngunit kung titignan natin, itong mga nangyayaring ito, lagi pa rin nandun yung unbelief. Eh, bilang paalala naman, no? Kasi minsan, naalala ko, lalo na kapag yung pakikisama natin sa mga tao, kahit ano kalakas ang tiwala at pananampalataya natin sa Diyos, paminsan-minsan sinusubok tayo. Di ba ba? Huwag natin ipagkaila. Kahit kami ng mga pare dumadaan sa mga crisis na sinatawag, Nakala natin kapag pare ka na, naku, lahat ng kahulihan nandiyan, no? Naalala ko, naalala ko tuloy yung awang-awa ako dun sa isa kong kumpare na siman sa Iloilo. Hindi ko ba sisi kung sino ang nagkamali. All throughout his life, naging siyang siman. Pinagmalaki yan, nakapagawa siya ng bahay, uh, ang tapag ito, nakapag-aaral yung mga anak niya, Every time ni bumaba siya, may pasalubong siya sa kanyang misis, kung ano po man, ang saya-saya nila. Ngunit ang kataon na, yung pagkasyo niya, na-stroke siya. Ay, alam niyo na kung ano na-stroke, sino ba bang tatanggap sa iyo sa barkong na-stroke ka, tagilid ka na, at nahalata niyang munti na, pabakunti na pakunti yung pasensya sa kanya nung kas- nasa bahay. So tinanong niya ako, Father, bakit gano'n? Sabi ko, walang sisisihin, no? Siguro yung mga anak mo, mga pamilya mo, ang tingin sa'yo, pera. Ang <laughs> gano'n ka na lang. Eh, siguro, dahil sa saliyo sa, sa, ng distansya nyo, na wala na yung affection, kahit na nandiyan pa rin action, pero gano'n na in-expect nila. Ngayon, pabigat ka na sa kanila, wala ka na nga maibigay. Yun na igaganti. Kaya yun ang hinanakit niya. Kaya nakakawa. Alam niya na nagawa niya lahat, ngunit ang kapalit pala ay ganito. Kaya sinumpa niya ang Diyos, ganito bang kapal, ka, kapalit na gina, ginawang kabutihan ko sa aking pamilya? Ngunit huwag natin gagawin. Huwag tayong tutulad. Sabi ko nga maraming uh, circumstances na ganun ang nangyari. Ngunit sa ganun namang pangyayari, dapat matatag tayo. Kaya alam nyo, lalo pa ako nanong sabi, Father, pwede ba? Total, mabait naman yung mga pare sa kumbento. Maki... Diyan na lang ako siyong titira. Napakasakit, di ba? Makikitara ka na lang kasi hindi ka accepted sa sarili mong bahay. Sa ako, hindi. Hindi naman kami orphanage. You try your best. Mama, maliliwanagan nila yan. Yung mga kasama sa bahay. Ipagdasal mo. Yun, huwag kang mawala ng tiwala. Ang maawa sa iyo ang Diyos. 
Wala magsasabi ng ginawa mo may masama. Maaaring nagkamali. Maraming okasyon na medyo mali ang direksyon ng pagpapatakbo mo sa iyong pamilya. Ngunit, sa overall, kung titignan yung quality ng kanyang ginawa, mas nakakaangat pa rin yung ginawa mo. Anyway, pagdusal mo na malinawan sila, tulungan kang gumaling, just in case, eh, siguro hindi na makakabalik si Barco eh, may edad na eh. No? At least, yung muling, kaya gano'n ang gimmick na ginawa ng Panginoon. No? Hindi niya sinabi, Uy, Pedro, halika. Ako si Jesus, ha, tingnan mo. Hindi. Binuhay niya yung alab, yung brotherhood, sabi na natin, brotherhood na kanilang natamasa o naram na experience nung three years nilang pagsasama. Kaya nga iba yung may pinagsamahan. Kung magandang inyong pinagsamahan, sigurado manunumbalik yan in time of crisis, no? In time na kailangan nyo ng tulong, no? Di ba? Kasi hindi naman sapagat yung kahapon, ang ngayon, for example, yung ngayon, bukas, bukas na yung ka ngayon, no? Hindi naman nangangawalugan na walang magagawa yung nangyari kahapon o nangyari yesterday sapagat doon nyo makikita kung pag-iisipin yung buti. Kahit na napakalakas ng hamon ng tukso o galit, eh kung misan mawawala. Kaya nga kung misan, pagpag may lumalapit, sabi niya, Father, gusto namin maghiwalay. Ako naman kanong kayo. Baka pabigla-bigla kayo. Hindi siguro kayo nag-uusap ng mga inihahon. Ang una ko lang yung sinasagot, kailan ba kayo nagkita, nagkakilala, paano ba kayo nagkakilala? Hindi mo ako siya sumangso. Pero kailangan yun eh. Kasi kung sinabi ng lalaki, ang hirap ko nga siyang pasagutin nun, eh baka kayo, ang dali-dali mo siyang iwanan. Ganun ka na ba? Anong klaseng lalaki, no? Isipin niyo lagi, yung manakaraan. Malamang na, yung toksong napakalagi sa oras niya ito. Hindi niyo lang pinag-aralan na bote. You don't try to compliment o tumagtulungan kayong dalawa. Anong sabi nung komplay nung ako si Smoso, pero ito po ang totoo. Anong reklamo yung asawa niya? Hindi po nang mababay. Mabayit yung asawa niya. Ayaw lang makisiping sa kanya paggabi. Humingi ng sariling kwarto. Eh, alam niyo na, huwag ko nang sabihin kung bakit ganun. Nag-iisa lang siya sa kwarto, nag-iisa lang siya sa kwarto, suposo yung kasama-kasama. Intindi niyo, laliman niyo pa yung pag-unawa niyo. Hindi lahat ng lalaki malakas kahit 90 years old. No? Baka yun ang problema niya. Hindi niya masabi-sabi. At baka hindi mo tanggapin. Yan ang mahirap. Kaya nga nawawala yung respeto natin sa mga tao kasi nakakalimutan natin ako. Nasya talaga kayo, no? Hindi yan nagbagong ibang tao ang kaharap mo. Pareho pa rin yan. Kung paano ka nahirapan noon, ngayon ang time mo na bumawi. Kaya ngayon na siyang sabi sa, sa, sa mga kabataan, eh, lalo ay sa mga, yung mga, mga katulad natin mga lolo, sabi ko, ha, habang tumatanda, nagigit tayong madamdamin. Totoo po yan. No? Lalo na yung sa mga parents, kapag nakita nila yung mga anak nila, bakit gano'n na sila mag sumagot? Bakit gano'n ang gawa nila? Sabi ko nga sa mga kapitan, yun talagang unang, ang alagay na nasa isip nila, parang failure kami, para wala kami nagawa. Doon, of course, sa party naman ng mga kabataan, eh, pwede nabigla lang kami, stress kami. Kaya nga, kung tayo, eh, of course, minsan hindi ba natin masasabi na yung init ng ulo, yung stress, eh, dumarating na lang bigla-bigla, kaya gano'n nangyayari, kaya nga sasabihin natin, ang pagsisisi inasa huli. Ngunit, pwedeng maiwasan o ma... Ano, how do you call that? Mabawasan. Sapagkat dinaanan mo na yan eh. Marami ng pagkakataon sa buhay natin na nagkasagutan kayo. Ngunit, bumalik pa rin yung mabuting pagtitinginan. Kasi, in, uh, nagkaroon tayo ng pag-uunawa. Kasi sapag, uh, sabi ko nga, sa importante kapag meron kang kasama, o kasala mo ka sa tao, ang isipin mo, huwag lamang yung sarili. Hindi yung bagong turo. Turo yan, Jesus. 
hindi ka nag-iisa sa mundo. At kapag alam mo na hindi ka nag-iisa, huwag mong unahin yung sarili mo. Lagi mong titingnan yung kabutihan nung tao, yung magagawa mong kabutihan sa isang tao, nang sa ganun siya rin, ang iniigaganti sa iyo, di ba? Alam ka naman na parang ano ka lang, gag- tingin sa iyo, parang plastic lang, provider lang, wala nang hanggang doon na lang. Oh, mali. Mali po yun. Huwag natin gayahin. Kaya nga, napakasama naman natin, no? Gumagawa na sa atin ng mabuti. At yun pa rin, masama tayo. Kung hindi tayo sa halip na balikan tayo ng kabutihan, masama pa rin ang feeling lang naman natin na masama yung pagtingin sa atin, yung paggawa sa atin. Kaya mali yun. Hindi natin ganun. Hindi pwedeng yung masama, gagamutin yung mga masama, ano? Ang laging tama, ang mabuti, la, sasagutan mo ng mabuti, always tama po yan. Nakakagaling yan, nakakabuti yan. Kaya nang laging pinapaalala sa atin. Kaya gano'n ang ginawa ni Jesus. Wala siyang pinilit sa kanyang mga kasamahan na maniwala kayo sa akin. Kulang ang inyong paniniwala. Ngunit sa kanila mismo nang galing, yung paniniwala na si Jesus na nga to nag sa kanilang puso yung kanilang pinagsamahan sa tatlong taon. Remember that? At alam nyo, itong mga nadarating na araw before ascension, kasi sa iyo nila sa gusto, iwan na naman sila na Jesus. Bahala kay sarili nyo. Ngunit, sa mga panahon pa rin yung na, nandito sa Jesus, nagkasakasama niyo ang kanyang malagan, patuloy pa rin yung pagpapalakas na kanilang pagtuturo. Kaya nga, go out all the world and tell the good news. Yung tutuloy-tuloy nila yan. At sigurado, alam naman natin, na nakakalagay sa Biblia, sa mga tradisyon, even giving their lives for Christ or for the, yung trabaho nila. Hindi nila iniwanan na tunay na tunay. Sapagat, sabi nga, tayo nga nga nag-invento nito, ang paglilitas sa atin ng Diyos, ay hindi hanggang sa krus, di ba? Lagi palala sa atin yon. Hindi lamang uh, Good Friday. Tapos na, namatay si Jesus, hanggang doon lamang parami siyang ng Diyos Ama. Kundi Easter Sunday. Kasi bali wala ang lahat, kundi siya muling nabuhay. Anybody, pwede i-crucify, mamatay, at kung hindi naman nabuhay, ganun tagang natural. Ngunit ang buhay mali, hindi sapagat pinilit siyang mabuhay, yung naglaman ng mission niya. Ngunit sabi ko nga, yung style ni Jesus na napakagandang halimbawa, muling bumukal sa kanilang mga kalubangan, yung pinagsabahan. So sana tayo ganun din. Ano, kahit na nasa crisis tayo, kahit nasa tingin natin, lubog na lubog na tayo, always remember yung may mga nangyari na, sa past. Kahit na naisip mo na lahat ng tao, Parang wala kang kakampi. Meron yan. Meron at meron. Hindi <laughs> lahat ng tao sarado. Wala nang ginagamit na otak. Wala ba lang maantig. O, basta pinalalahanan mo lang. Yun po ang malaking bagay na magagawa natin sa ating sarili. At lalong-lalo na kapag ito ay ginawa natin sa ating mga uh, makasamahan o sa ibang tao. Magsitayo pa tayo. My brothers and sisters, we now pray to God our Father in the spirit of His risen Son that He may touch our lives, heal our doubts, and restore our faith. After this petition, we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may be filled with the spirit of the risen Lord as she proclaims Him to the whole world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may commit ourselves to Christ as proof of our love for Him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may not grow bitter toward those who oppose us, but rather pray for their conversion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
that the sick may be comforted in their suffering with their faith in the risen Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may experience the saving power of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we offer our personal petitions and also include the intentions of these months. God our Father, give us the courage to witness to the coming of your kingdom. Grant that we may always do your will and so merit your many blessings. We ask this through Christ, O Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, may the brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. We ask this through Christ the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to load you yet more gloriously when Christ our Paschal over has been sacrificed. Through him the children of the light rise to eternal life, and the holes of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is a ransom from death, and his rising, the rising is the life of all has risen. Therefore overcome with Paschal joy, Every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please, 
We are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a jewel, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church as spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Socrates our Bishop, uh, Fidelis is his son Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Joseph, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grace is grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grace is grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. We offer to one another the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to receive him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Kindly all stand for the prayer for the elections. Let, <clears throat> let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of the nations. Let us pray together. Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord, from coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord, from dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord, from bribery, craft, and cult conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord, from threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord, that conscience may always be our ultimate norm. 
Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ, O Lord. Amen. Please be seated for a while for some announcement. Dear devotees of Our Lady of Manawa, the Summer Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on May 4, 2022, third Wednesday after Easter Sunday. The Novena Masses will be scheduled at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon and 4.30 p.m. from April 25 to May 3, 2022. Additional Mass at 3 o'clock p.m. on May 1, Sunday. We invite you to participate in this Novena Masses. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses, you may fill out the form of the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation, where you will be provided with an acknowledgement receipt, or you may visit our website www.manawagminorbasilica.org for the online PAMISA. All names of donors and sponsors will appear in the electronic souvenir program. Thank you very much for your continued support. God bless you. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless us all the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass ascended, we go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. Hindi lamang po tayo nandito sa simbahan na umihiling na gumaling sa anumang karamdaman o makaiwas sa anumang sakit. Idamay na rin po natin yung nasa ating mga bahay. Makakilala natin may sakit. Nakakarating po yan sa kanila bilang pagdamay natin. Pinakikinggan po yan ng Diyos, maniwala kayo, no? So, salamat po. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ, O Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of the rosaries and other religious articles. If you have them with you, just bring them out. Huwag na po kayo maalis sa inyong pwesto. Lalapit na lang po yung mga ministers na mag-bless. Let us pray. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles of devotion be blessed and be made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.